hello, hello, hello. How's everybody feeling out there? Hello, hello, hello. Hopefully everybody is having an amazing day. Hello, hello, hello. I am so happy to be on with you uh, for this lunchtime share today. Hey, 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 y'all, come on in, come on in. We have so many people, I have so many followers who have said to me, you know, Miss Watkins, right now I'm feeling overwhelmed. I'm feeling a little bit panic. I'm feeling a, a, a heightened amount of anxiety. And guys, I understand there's so many people right now um, who are concerned about the health of their families. You know, there are people who are concerned about um, you know, the well-being of their income. You have mothers and fathers who are now turning into teachers. <laughs> the house is now the classroom, you know, and, and you have uh, parents who are thinking, how am I going to feed my family? You know, and so you have a whole group of people who are wondering, you know, when is my life going to get back to normal? So it's a lot going on, guys, and we want to talk today and just, you know, really go from panic to preparedness preparedness to positivity and peace because ultimately guys i love what will smith said uh will smith said that danger is ever present he said but fear is optional danger is ever present but fear is optional so guys we want to talk today and this is one of my favorite go-to's some of y'all know all about joel but we're going to go from one of my favorite, I declare. How many of you like that? I love it. It gives me a sense of peace. And it's really right now about what are you going to You'll have it. So what are you going to speak right now over your life? And today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just give you a little something to, to go on, to get your day started. I declare for you God's incredible blessings over your life. I declare for you. You will experience God's faithfulness. I declare for you that you have all the grace you need for today. I declare for you that it is not too late to accomplish anything that God has placed in your heart. I declare for you, I am grateful for who God has in your life because guess what? He's placed them there for a reason. I declare for you a legacy of faith. I declare for you that you will store up blessings for future generations. And I declare for you that God has a great plan for your life. Hello, 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 Facebook. Hey, Instagram. Hopefully y'all are feeling good today for our positive vibe moment together. And today we want to talk about declaring incredible blessings. How many of you know you got to declare incredible blessings like share like share tell. if you know somebody who's dealing with a lot of anxiety they've been calling you every five minutes the the sky is falling share this with them share this with some people who need a positive word today and i want you to put them at ease we're going to start off by this this says a friend of mine wanted to attend a major university but he needed a scholarship to pay for his tuition he applied many months before the school year started, and even though his grades were good enough, he still did not get the scholarship. It looked like his dream of going to a major university was over. It looked like the situation was permanent. All the facts said it would never happen. But just a few weeks before school was about to start, the scholarship office called back and said something to him opened up. Instead of offering him a two-year partial scholarship like he applied for, they offered him a four-year scholarship. That's called an explosive blessing. You may think your situation is permanent. You've been in it a long time. You don't see how you can ever rise any higher. All the facts are telling you it is impossible. It is impossible. But God said today, you need to get ready. Somebody comment below, get ready. Get ready, get ready. You need to get ready because where you are is not permanent. You have an explosive blessing coming your way. I, I think I'm going to repeat that. You have an explosive blessing coming your way. I will increase you beyond your salary. I will bless you beyond your normal income. I will suddenly change things in your life. 
That's how the word explosive is defined. It means sudden widespread. That's what God wants for each of us is suddenly. Somebody comment below. I want the next 10 people to comment below suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. What does suddenly mean? You won't expect it. You won't see it coming. The blessing just comes over your life. And guys, here's what I want you to know. It's not ordinary and it's not small. It is not mediocre. It's a widespread increase. Do you know with every opposition, there's opportunity? How many of you know with every opposition, there lies opportunity? And, and here's what I need you to understand. That means that it is so amazing that you can't even wrap your mind around it. That's what's happening to this gentleman. He stopped uh, one day by the church. He made a very large donation to the ministry. It was his tithe. He said that he received an inheritance from a family member he never knew. Anybody want to see, receive an inheritance from family members you don't know? He said he received an inheritance from a family member that he did but no, never met. In fact, he didn't even know they were related. But guys, here's what it said. But the man left a gift from his, uh, from his family to the church. And he said that this particular blessing took his family to a whole new level. This particular blessing took his family to a whole new level. He was able not only to pay his house off, but he paid off several other houses. It may not just be the blessing coming through you, but there may be some people around you that's going to be blessed. They're going to bless. I'm just saying. He was able to pay church debt, house debt, friends debt. But I don't know about you, but I'm believing for some lost long relatives. I'm believing in explosive blessings. The Apostle Paul talks about this in Ephesians 2 and 7. He said that which would seem the unlimited, immeasurable, surpassing greatness, God's favor. He's saying we would never see the favor we have never seen before. In the real world, it may look like you will never accomplish your dreams. In the real world. What you see on TV every day, what you see around you, it may appear like it may ha happen. Those things may not come to pass. You've already calculated how you'll never get out of debt, how you'll have all those things that God's saying will never happen for you. But you haven't seen my explosive blessings, said the Lord. You haven't seen the greatness of my favor. Anybody want some favor today? I have blessings that will catapult, catapult you into years ahead. Guys, I have increase that goes beyond your normal calculations. I have learned that God doesn't always take us in normal increments. There are times he will increase us little by little. We have to be faithful day in, day out. Somebody comment below, I will be faithful day in, day out. He says, be faithful day in, day out. But when you come upon these explosive blessings, instead of going from seven, eight to nine, God will take you from seven, eight to 64, 65, 100, 1,000, all the way over to the other side of the blessing. That's what explosive blessings are all about. So guys, as we wrap this up today, we're gonna just declare and decree. Anybody gonna declare and decree with me on today? I declare God's incredible blessings over my life. I will see an explosion of God's goodness, a sudden widespread increase. I will experience the surpassing greatness in the favor of God. I will elevate me. It will elevate me to a higher level that I never ever dreamed of. Explosive blessings are coming my way. This is my declaration. I want somebody to comment below explosive blessings are coming my way. Explosive blessings are coming my way. Remember guys, danger is ever present. Fear is totally optional. While everybody else may be in fear and you should be concerned, you should be careful, you should be mindful of danger, but you should never be fearful. It's a difference between caution and flat out fear. Be faithful day by day. Meditate on the higher things. Sometimes y'all gonna have to turn that news channel off for an hour or two. I'm telling y'all, <laughs> you're gonna have to get outside. You're gonna have to walk a little. You're gonna have to get within your corner and pray a little. You may need to turn on a song and sing a little. 
but you need to do whatever you need to do to protect your mind space because some of you are working from home right now and that's the best thing you could be doing is an entrepreneurial venture. But here's the thing about being an entrepreneur, you guys, is that as an entrepreneur, you drive your business with your mindset. As an entrepreneur, you drive your business with your mindset. And if your mind ain't right, it's gonna mess up your money. If your mind ain't right, it's gonna mess up your money. So no matter what is happening and going on, be cautious, be, be cognizant, but you would make sure that you're vibrating at the proper frequency. You have to say to yourself, I refuse to panic, I walk in peace. That's the word today. I refuse to panic, I walk in peace. I need everybody to take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. <laughs> I refuse to panic. I walk in peace. I want y'all to comment below. Hopefully you have enjoyed. We're going to get together at lunchtime. Hopefully you guys can get under your desk. You can steal away. Get a positive word for the day as we come together. I want you to be prayerful. I want you to be confident and bold. I want you right now to believe in yourself more than ever before. I want you taking more risk than ever before. I want you to believe more in yourself and everybody around you. This is the time for us to come together and think the best of our, our neighbor and not the worst. Because right now, this is where we see champions are made. I refuse to panic. I walk in peace. Y'all have an amazing day. God bless.